Hi guys, it's me, the 4835, and today I'm looking at the Halo Anniversary Series 2 Master Chief from the package. Now this is made by McFarlane Toys, and it was released as part of the Halo's 10 year anniversary, which was last year. So, before I take a look at the figure, let's have a look at the packaging. And right away, I have to say this packaging is lovely. It's simple, yet it is innovative and it gets across a clear picture. So, we have the Halo sign on the front here. As you can see, we have a picture of the Master Chief from the Halo Legends episode, The Package, which this is supposed to represent. We also have a nice see-through and look at the figure. We have uh, a bit here saying about how you can build the insignia. And on the back, we have all the other figures in this range, including Captain Keys, Spartan Mark, uh, Six from Halo 2, uh, Guilty Spark and a Sentinel, and ODST Mickey. So look forward to more reviews in the future, hopefully reviewing some of those. So overall, it's very nice. You also have some of the games up here, including all up to Reach. They don't include Halo 4, because when this came out, Halo 4 hadn't been released yet. So that's a shame. And at the bottom, we have some junk about how it's from 434 Industries and some other and we don't have anything on the back of the packaging so I will have a, I will have a look at this get it out of its packaging see what it's like and then I can see how cool it so, is so here he is out of his packaging and he is a very good figure he has his disadvantages he has his downfalls but overall it's a nice sculpt it's a nice mould and yeah it represents the chief in a great way. Now bearing in mind this is his appearance at it from Halo Legends from the short story the package so it will be done in a very anime-esque style. Now this follows through in not only the colouring of this figure but also in the sculpt. So as you can see he is very uh, chunky. The arms are quite chunky at the elbows and at the forearms here uh, as well as the chest and the legs, which look more like robot feet than they do um, humans. But I love it. I have always liked the design. I love the episode, the package. So I had to pick this figure up. The figure's paint is also a area to look at. He has a green Spartan colour wor working all the way through this armour. He also has a black jumpsuit underneath. And he has this lovely gold visor, which is prominent on the figure. He also has these white bands around his elbows and the 117 logo on his shoulder, on his breastplate. He also has small red triangles to represent different um, abilities of the suit. And it carries on on his feet too. He has grey around his toes and the same red. So very, very cool. Now his accessories is one assault rifle, like so. And as you can see it does include a peg which does allow it to be pegged onto the side of his legs, such as that, and also the other side. Again, great back detailing. It's, it's just amazing. So, first, this is really nice. It has good paint scheme. However, on one side, I don't know if this is going to be able to show, the black has worn off onto the actual silver base coat of the, fig of the gun, which means it's okay. I mean, the quality control on this figure is my only problem apart from the legs. I feel that McFarlane could have done better. They could have looked at their figures more closely as they were being produced, rather than give fans a figure which... The paint scheme is lovely, but around the edges there is small tweaks that need to be made, just to make this figure perfect. So, he also includes a grenade, which you can see held in his hand, like so, and the grenade can also be used the peg which the gun has to be pegged onto his legs like so. The final thing he comes with is this, which diehard Halo fans will know is the world part of the UNSC logo. And with this series you can collect all the bits of the logo to create it itself. Now I should, I hopefully would like to get all of this figure series, so hopefully I'll make a review when I so, finish it. let's briefly go over his articulation because that's what everyone wants to know. So, his head 
can rotate about 90 degrees because it is on a ball joint. It can look up and down as well. His he can do an ab crunch because his ab is on a ball joint and it can also spin all the way around. His arms can go out at the shoulder like so, but also in that far. His elbows can twist 360 degrees around and his hands can also twist 360 degrees around and move up and down like so and in and out, which is really cool. His legs, however, are the problem for this figure, which I feel. The articulation at his thighs are bad, especially for a figure of, well, of this sculpt and of this quality, basically. The legs here can only twist, which means they can only twist like so. They can't go backwards or forwards. His knees can bend like so, and he has two points of articulation on the feet. He has the actual foot, and then he has some toe articulation. So overall, a very nicely articulated And here figure. is a size comparison of the figure next to a Halo Mega Bloks Elite. As you can see, the figure is quite tall and towers over him. However, I do not have the DC Mass Effect figure here to show you, but Grunt is bigger than the Chief by far. And as you can see, the Chief does hold his weapon quite well. However, it would be better if they made his hand grip a bit tighter. So, the figure is wonderful, to be honest. Compared to other figures in this size which I've got, and the only recent one was the DC's Mass Effect Grunt, who is very taller than the Chief, it's it's a lot a big improvement. I feel McFarlane know how to make these sort of size figures. Don't get me wrong, DC's figures are great. They're detailing, but they're more statues. But they're still good. Please do not get me wrong, they're still good. However, this is brilliant. Not only do you have the articulation, you have the look of the chief, and also the feel of him too, as well as all this lovely lovely work that has gone into the figure and detailing. It is absolutely amazing. Now, there is one other problem, which I'm sure you've seen already, and it's that many of the joints on this figure are loose, such as this. His leg here is very loose. Now, what does this mean? It means whenever you stand him, he has the ability to fall over. You see he's quite wobbly because of this foot here. Um, nothing else in the figure is too thing. This is quite loose, and so is the shoulder, however that doesn't really matter because they're stiff enough to actually use their purpose which is to hold the gun. However this foot is where the problem comes. Because the foot can't support the rest of the figure, it makes the figure fall over from time to time if you don't have him the right pose. So that is the only other gripe I have with this figure. So overall, really nice. Would I recommend it? Yes if you're a Halo fan get the figure, it's definitely worth getting. If you're a fan of Master Chief, get it. If you're a fan of Halo Legends and the episode that he comes from, get it. And generally if you're a fan of a good action figure in this size, then I would recommend get it. So I have been the 4 and 835, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.